So in this example, we have a horizontal rod in equilibrium. We need to find P and Q. So it doesn't make sense to resolve forces first because we've got both unknowns in the vertical direction. So it makes sense to take moments about a point. Uh, now, which point you choose, it probably makes sense to choose either B or C, seeing as that's where one of our unknowns is. So let's take moments about point B. So taking moments about point B, we are two metres away from the 10 Newton force, and that's going to be going in anti-clockwise motion, so that's positive. So we have 10 times 2. We're going to be one metre away from the P Newton force, and that's going in a anti-clockwise motion as well. So that's positive, so plus one lot of P. And then we are three metres away from the 20 Newton force, and that's going clockwise, so that's negative. So take away three times 20, and that's got to be equal to zero. OK, so uh, three times 20 is 60, and then we're going to take away 20, so P must be 40. So that's P. Now that we have P, it makes sense to resolve, uh, sorry, resolve vertically. So I'm going to take upwards as positive, as I usually do. Uh, so we've just got P, which is 40. Take away the 10, take away Q, take away 20 is equal to 0. So 40 take away 10, take away 20 is going to be 10. So that means that Q has to be 10. And so they are the missing values that we wanted to find.